Hey parents, Mr. Jim here. Ever since Osmo sent us our Genius Starter Kit, it's become the kids' favorite games to play with at home. The best part is how well they're designed to encourage learning in a way that's actually exciting. I've honestly never seen my kids pick up new skills as fast as they are after playing with Osmo. I can't help but play along with my kids as we're having a blast playing games that explore math, puzzles, art, reading, and more. Genius Starter Kits come with a base and reflector that fit most iPad models. Available at PlayOsmo.com. That's PlayOsmo.com. Osmo. Learning well played. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time or you're still newer to our family, I want to encourage you to try five. That's our challenge where for five days in a row, your kids listen to some awesome stories to use their imagination and watch their creativity come to life. You see, we make stories every single day for you and uh, you just never know what kind of story you're going to find on any given day. So hang with me for five days, whether maybe driving in the car or maybe during lunchtime. And I think you're going to find something pretty amazing happens. Well, friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. It was another beautiful day and Maverick the monster was climbing down from his favorite tree after a good night's sleep. I have so much to do today, he said to himself. But first, I need to get my muscles moving. Maverick was the jungle's protector, so he had to stay in tip-top shape in case anyone needed help. He started every day with a run up and down the mountain, but today something seemed wrong. The jungle was quiet, too quiet. At the top of the mountain, Maverick found one of his friends, Jasper the Jaguar. Where is everyone? Maverick asked. They've all taken cover. Something is coming. We could smell it, said Jasper. Maverick sniffed. I can't smell anything. Really, it smells awful. Like, really stinky breath. Well, it's my job to protect this jungle and all the things that live here, Maverick said, standing up tall. Tell everyone to meet me at my tree in 30 minutes. As Jasper spread the word, Maverick ran back down the mountain to finish his workout. Everyone is scared. What am I going to tell them? Maverick thought to himself as he picked up a dead tree and lifted it over his head. Holy smokes. Can you do that? That's pretty impressive. (laughs) By the time he was done with his workout, wow, quite a workout, he could smell what Jasper was talking about. Meanwhile, In the Stinky Blimp Lab, Dr. Stinky Breath and the Purple Ninjas were on the move. (laughs) People keep ruining my plans. So I've brought us to the jungle where no one can stop us. Oh, but if there's no one here, how are we going to take over the world? Don't worry about that, Dr. Stinky Breath said with a smile. I have a plan. (laughs) Back in the jungle, the animals were all gathered together. Attention, attention, I know you're all worried, but we must remain calm, Maverick said. Has anyone noticed anything about that smell? Sierra the snake raised her tail into the air. (laughs) She didn't have hands. So this was the best that she could do. As I was slithering over Seer, it felt like the ground was rumbling under my scales. What do you mean? Asked Maverick. But before Sierra could explain, a dark shadow passed over them. The animals looked up and saw a big oval-shaped purple balloon above them in the sky. Hey, The ground is rumbling again in my scales, shouted Sierra. 
and I hear feet running, said Jasper. Me too, me too, I hear it too. All the others started to chime in. Jasper, use your tracking skills and lead us towards the sound. As Jasper led the group, Maverick tried to calm his body. He knew everyone counted on him to protect them. If he showed how he was really feeling, it might even make the other animals more scared. Suddenly, Jasper stopped. Look, he whispered. The animals saw human-looking creatures dressed in purple. They were holding a huge tube that went all the way up from the big blimp in the sky right down to the earth. Hey, yelled Maverick. What are you doing? Suddenly, there was a loud cracking sound like thunder. The entire jungle shook. The animals squawked and hissed with fright. Maverick was thrown off balance and fell over. When he got up, the tube and the purple people were gone. (laughs) You're too late, said Dr. Stinky Breath over the blimp speaker to the animals. I have injected my toxic breath into the ground, and now the earth is splitting in half, and there's nothing, nothing you can do to stop it. Ha, 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 ha. Quick as a flash, Maverick grabbed a pointy dead branch from the jungle floor and climbed to the tallest of the tallest trees. Oh, yes, we can, shouted Maverick as he threw the branch at the blimp to try and pop it. After all, it did look kind of like a ginormous balloon. Now, Maverick was good at many things, but unfortunately, throwing is not one of them. The branch missed. Feeling disappointed and sad that he had failed to protect the jungle, Maverick climbed down from the tree. But when he got to the bottom, all the animals were cheering. Why are you cheering for me? I missed. And now the earth is splitting in half. It's all my fault. But the balloon flew away. You scared them off, Jasper shouted. Maverick looked up and saw that the balloon in the sky was gone. He couldn't believe it. He did it. But we still have a problem with the ground splitting. The earth is still cracking, said Sierra. She was right. Maverick knew that the jungle was resilient, which means it can heal after bad things, but it would need some help. Maverick held on to two strong trees, one on either side of this giant crack that was forming and used his super strong muscles to try and squeeze the crack back together. At first, nothing happened, but Maverick did not give up. He squeezed with all of his strength. The ground rumbled and the trees shook. Maverick kept pulling the two sides together until he couldn't pull any more. He dropped to the ground. All the animals were silent. Sierra slithered over to the crack. You did it! The crack is closed! All the animals cheered as Maverick was so proud of himself for not only choosing to be brave even when he felt scared, but he tried his best, and his best was good enough to use all of his strength to close the crack that had formed in the jungle. Even though this is the end of our story, I think it's only just the beginning. The amazing adventures that lie ahead for all these animals in that jungle. The end. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid. Shout out! I want to say hey to Grace from New York, Hill from Alabama, Grayson from Oregon, Jack from Texas, Maya from Boston, Ava from Vancouver, Haley from California, Kyrie from New York, and Avery from Alberta, Canada. I'm so glad that you're all on Kid Short Stories family. We could not have this much fun without 
you, my friends, will you have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!